Hey, this is uh, in response to Jerry L. She brought up a very interesting point when she talked about the uh, child molester van, actually. I think it's what really, what really squirts in my pants, what really gets me pissed, is the, uh, the fact that she brought up a good point. Child molester van? Since when? You know, back in the 70s, vans were considered the sex van. You know what I'm saying? You, you had a van, you were rocking and rolling. It was time for... Uh, a party, you put a little couch in the back, get the young ladies back there, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't too creepy, it was like kind of what the hippies did. You know what I mean? Then all of a sudden, something happened where those creepy guys started buying all those vans, and now they're for child storage, for child molestation. Not very cool. Not very cool at all. Matter of fact, matter of fact, there are a lot of things that have been ruined in history because of asshole people. Uh, not that I want these styles, but... um. You know, think about it. Hitler ruined two looks. He ruined the bull cut forever. If you're, we used to call that the mo. You know what I mean? Mo tried to bring it back, but from the Three Stooges. But to be honest, with you, it's 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 the freaking Hitler and the Hitler mustache. If you have this, I mean, what was it? Uh, Laurel and Hardy. They had one of those. No one sells us the Laurel and Hardy. They call it the Hitler. Very, very. Dis I'm very disgruntled by all this. But uh, child molester van i think we need to bring back the van i'm gonna go out tomorrow and buy a van i encourage everybody to buy vans and let's change the name of vans to the happy-go-lucky van or something because um it's a bad world we live in where vans are considered child molester vans and that's my squirt of anger in my pants